Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with the first week of November read, start from the 1st through the 7th of November 2023. This reading is going to be for the sign of um, Libra. So Libra, let's see what's coming in for you for this week time. I will be adding uh, messages from your person as well in this reading. So stay tuned, and before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general reading, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. Pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For person reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see. Libra, what's coming in for you for this week time? Let's begin. Seven of Wands, Ten of Cups, King of Pentacles. And in the deck, we do have the Eight of Pentacles. I really see you very occupied and busy during this uh, week time. I really feel like you know, there will be a lot on your plate. Um, probably you are preparing yourself for something big and better. I feel like, you know, for the majority of you, you'll be um, indulging into multiple things in this week time. So you get the best out of the situation. It's going to be a perfect uh, time for you to invest yourself into business, work, um, goals, be that love, career, and everything. I really feel like, you know, you will be able to achieve them all. Because I feel like you are in that vibe where you are like a go-getter and I feel like, you know, you will be able to achieve it all. Um, there's a lot of focus as well that I see uh, that you carry around right now. I feel like, you know, for the majority of you, um, there is something that is exciting you. There is something that is uh, the motivation behind all of it. And it can be a new person in your life. It can be a current person in your life. It can be a love life, which is going perfectly perfect. But yes, there is a sense of motivation around it. And I feel like you know, that's what is keeping you going on with it. Um, so there might be some beautiful energies coming up for you or happening for you in your love life during this week time, which is going to make you feel very happy and excited as well. But I really feel like, yes, there is some sort of a motivation, some sort of um, some source of motivation that is keeping you happy, excited. For some of you, you might be you know, doing all the work, all the things that you're doing right now passionately, excitedly, because you are planning a time with your specific someone after you get done with this so for some of you if you are kind of occupied with so many things right now you're happily doing whatever you are doing because you know that it is getting you closer to your person once you get done with this you are going to spend some quality time with the one that you love so maybe for some of you there might be some sort of a plan that you make with your person during this week time which um, which is also going to keep you very active and positive and happy and excited so for some of you probably you are going to be having a date plan set for you in this week time which is going to keep you very excited and happy and you're going to feel like you know even if you have a lot on your plate you're going to feel very light-hearted so i really see some sort of a stability some sort of a happiness coming up for you and i really feel like you know for the majority of you it is going to be a week where even though there won't be much happening in your love life but yes there is something in your love life which is keeping you very happy very excited very uplifted which is going to be a beautiful energy that's what i could see coming for majority of you with those cards but then we do have the ace of cups underneath the deck so i really feel like you know there is a lot of love and excitement that is going to be a part of your life during this week time um i feel like you know whether you are single whether you're in a relationship even if you are at work work friend i really feel like you know there is somebody maybe you know for, for those of you who are completely single maybe there is somebody at your work front who keeps you motivated um maybe you have a crush there maybe you have you know they have a crush on you so that there is a chemistry between you and someone specific specific and i really see that there will be a lot happening between the two of you uh which is going to keep the two of you motivated and you know feel good about the whole situation so i really see something like that during this week time having said that i would definitely suggest you to keep your um you know expectations very minimal i feel like you know, it's very important right now for you to do that because um if you have your high expectations um, I feel like, you know, you will you will start obsessing about something and you don't have to because I really feel like, you know, it's very important for you to keep your things, uh, your expectations very lighthearted right now. Try not to be obsessed with anything because uh, the more you're feeling light about it, the more you're going to have fun around it. Let's see what else is happening for you during this uh, week time. What major thing can you expect coming up for you during this week time? What major thing can you expect coming for you during this week? Uh, week time what major thing major shift major thing happening for you during this week time page of wands and then under uh, page of wands and page uh, ace of pentacles underneath the deck we do have the king of wands 
I really feel like, you know, you will be very happy and excited about something. And I feel like, you know, there is a motivation uh, that keeps you going on. But I feel like, you know, for majority of you, um, it's going to be a wonderful time. For for majority of you, maybe there is a, um, you know, maybe there is a financial raise that you can see coming up for you, which is going to kind of like, you know, keep you very happy and excited about it. Uh, and, you know, even if you have to work over time, you would be like, um, you know, happy about it because you know what's going to come as a reward for that. So I really feel like and it's going to be a wonderful time for majority of you when it comes to financial gains and all those things. The more you put effort, the more you are going to get rewarded. So I really feel like, you know, the, the, the rewards are definitely coming in, which is going to keep you motivated. And I feel like, you know, even if you are planning a travel to see your specific someone or they are planning to see you right now, I really feel like, you know, that's going to keep you very happy about it. Let's see what else is uh, coming in for you. What else is happening for you during this week time? What else is happening for you during this uh, week time? What else is coming in? What else is coming in? What else is coming in? Trust your gut feeling. Let your heart lead you to who you are. I really feel like it's very important right now for you to follow your heart and follow your gut right now. The divine really wants you to listen to it. Ending a trauma, transform memories and symptoms. I feel like you know, for some of you, uh, it's time for you to align um, yourself with what you truly desire. If there is something that you have been heard about, it's time for you to put an end to the trauma that you have dealt with in, in the past. I feel like, you know, it's time for you to transform your memories and move forward with grace and happiness. And I feel like, you know, there's a lot coming up for you. There's a lot of happiness coming up for you. So try to move forward. Try to get yourself busy doing something or the other to keep yourself positive, happy, and excited. And try to transform the memories from the past and... Um, you know, try not to allow the past, um, get the control of your emotions right now. It's it's okay to have uh, been through a heartbreak or anything wrong, but it's time for you to move forward. I feel like, you know, for some of you, maybe there is a return of a past person in your life for some of you. Um, maybe this person is going to come and approach you when you're least expecting it. And I feel like, you know, maybe you're happy and excited about your life where, you know, you're not even thinking about this person. But then this person might approach you and the divine really doesn't want you to look at this whole situation uh, from uh, from the same perspective that really uh, you know the divine really wants you to kind of transform your memories and symptoms and try to look at things from a fresher perspective but at the same time uh try to try to kind of like you know trust your gut feeling around it if you feel like giving into a connection go ahead if you don't feel like it don't go for it but i really feel like you know if somebody from the past returns back they might be returning back with a solid offer towards you because we do have ace of pentacles and ace of cups here so maybe there will be a solid offer coming from this person but let's see the messages from your person here what do they have to say here with the messages what do they have to say here with their messages what do they have to say here with their messages so we have the messages here i wish things could be different this person whoever it is that you're dealing with they would like to have a new chance with you probably they would want to have different things different way because i feel like you know for some of you maybe they're going to feel like oh we don't have the chemistry now i wish we had and we could make things right again um or maybe they're not going to be happy with the way you respond to them that's going to make this person feel like oh i wish things were different i would like to date you this person would like to date you now for some of you if you are still dealing with a trauma maybe there is somebody out there in your life who's having a crush on you who would want to date you uh, and probably they are wishing that things were different, you were more open to them. So it can be something like that. This person really does check your social media, whoever it is. I am so attracted to you. I really feel like you know, this is a new person who is attracted to you. But, you know, they wish things were different. Probably you are not giving them enough time, but they are definitely stalking you. You, know, you and I were too young. It can be a past person, like I said earlier. I still love you unconditionally. So there might be like two people who are like, you know, one is someone who is at your work run, who is like, you know, keeping you up um upbeat all the time and then there is somebody who in, is stalking you from the past because they really want to be back with you so it can be something like that as well let's see some more cards here what else is happening for you during this uh uh week time let's see what else is taking place for you during this week time um the divine really wants you to have patience and not to worry about anything it's time for you to um take some time to plan your next steps don't don't be rushing into anything Try to be very, um, you know, very clear about what you are choosing to do right now and invest your time thoughtfully into anything. Um, I feel like, you know, um, there is a lot of emotional fulfillment coming for you. And uh, I feel like, you know, 
it's very important for you to know one thing that you are definitely surrounded by white people so even if somebody new comes in or even if somebody somebody from the past returns back to you maybe you can definitely trust this person and you know uh, move forward with them with you uh, with, with positivity around it by giving them a full new chance so yeah that's uh, pretty much it coming up for you for this week time if it was of help do like share and subscribe till I do the next read take care bye